What's up, Facebook? It's a little after four, and it is my show Monday. Hashtag, I'm taking <laughs> over this whole thing. I love uh, it. Jordan Johnson's gone. That's right. I kicked him out of here. <laughs> Chef John is gone. That's right. He's out of here. <laughs> uh, we're knocking him out. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I know there's probably people <laughs> freaking out right now. No, bring back Chef John. Bring back Jordan. <laughs> um, what's up, guys? I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad. And right now, I want to introduce uh, the most majestic, mocha man I've ever met. Mm, um, yeah. He hails yes. uh, from Simi Valley, California, weighing in mm. at a brisk 300 pounds, <laughs> sopping wet, sopping <sighs> wet. The man, the myth, the legend. He's got his hair. He's not happy with his hair today. <laughs> so y'all pick on his hair in the comment section down below. Chef John in Backyard and Beyond. What is up, America? Welcome to another Backyard and Beyond. I'm your host, Chef John. Welcome. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you, Jody, so much for that warm, warm welcome. Man, somebody's got to do it, Jody. I know, somebody's I know, and I love it. it. I love it. So, guys, make sure you know what to do. I got my good friend, uh, Barbecue Dad, on the ones or the twos. Put your comments in the comment section. I have an awesome show planned for you guys today. Ken has already smashed the share button. That's what I'm talking about, Ken. Today, I'm going to be doing, oh, it's all week long, themed week. I forgot to tell you guys. So the theme for tell the week is go-to meals, right, this week. We're going to be showing you all our favorite go-to meals. And for me, when the weather starts to change, my go-to meal is soup. Oh, is And it? I have a delicious soup plan for you guys today. I'm going to show you all how to do smoked chicken and vegetable soup. Mm. It's going to be delicious. That sounds delicious. I mean, it's going to be delicious. Smash that share button, guys. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love because you are going to want to tune in for this one. All right. So today we're cooking on the Matador. That's right. Shoot the out. RTG 450. Often imitated, never duplicated. I love, love, love this thing. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing crunk. John, don't you have some winner, a winner to announce? I later do. On? I have a winner to announce. I also have. Uh, we're gonna do another giveaway, Jody. Ooh. My people like giveaways, Jody. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna throw some butter in there. Oh gosh. So why are you mixing the two oils, John? Well, it helps to raise the temperature of the butter. Really, I just want to use the butter. But if I were to throw it in right now, it would burn. Okay. So I put a little bit of olive oil in there. It helps raise the burning temperature of the butter. Huh. And I still get that delif delicious fr flavor. All right, guys. So for my soup, now you could use whatever vegetables you like. But for me, uh, in the cooler, we had some corn. So we'll go ahead and throw this corn in here. The food's so nice, you get to see it twice. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Jody. And then I got had some green beans and some lima beans. We're going to go ahead and throw these in. But like I said, you could use whatever vegetables you like to eat or whatever you want to see in your soup. All right, so we're just going to saute these up. Yum. Snap, right. crackle, pop, John. Snap, hey, guys, if y'all have any questions, pop. put them in the comment section That's right. down below. You know we love questions. You know John knows all things. That's uh, right. Especially about love life liberty the pursuit of liberty that's right uh he knows all of the amendments of the constitution <laughs> he knows hey you gotta every stay sharp president you gotta stay back. sharp guys that's um, right so if you have any questions uh let us know uh can you cook soup on other grills yeah you sure uh, well probably not i probably i probably wouldn't try to cook on any other brand besides a rec tech you know what i'm saying Rectex the only grill that I'm cooking soup on, so Jeez, I would a cast iron. Yeah, Dutch, totally. Dutch oven, right? Put it on this. Put it on your 700, your RT 590, your RT 340, Dutch oven, cast iron skillet. And you can do this straight on there. All right. So now I have an onion. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this onion up. John, were those vegetables frozen? You could use frozen vegetables. The, uh, these were not frozen, you but frozen vegetables would be uh, acceptable. Yeah, straight from the Rectech garden. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this half of onion in. Shoot, yeah. And we're going to let all this stuff start to cook. 
Now, yeah. while, this other, while this is cooking, I'm going to go over these other ingredients with you. All right, so what we got here is I've got some tomato. This is just tomato product, cr canned crushed tomatoes. Okay. Uh, San Marzano tomatoes. Ooh, you can find those are the good ones right there. That's right. Uh, we got a little bit of garlic and ginger. Ooh, fancy. Right? Definitely. A jalapeno, lemon. We're going to be using some white wine. I'm using Chardonnay. I like it. It's just dry, but any white cooking wine you had would totally be acceptable. Dry like your humor. <laughs> Ho! 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 We're going to be using that uh, Colden's Freaked Greek so, uh, Spice and that smoked salt that Chef Greg made. I mm. love that stuff. Guys, mm. if you have not checked out that recipe mm. where Chef Greg is making the uh, smoked salt, go back. <laughs> it's on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, John. Tell them how to make it. It's easy peasy. It really is really easy. So we just use kosher salt, right? Kosher salt, put it on a sheet pan, put it in the RT700, that sheet pan on the RT700, set it at low, as low as it will go, 180, and just smoked it for as long as you can leave it out there and as many pellets as you have. The longer you let it sit, the smokier it's going to get, right? So mm. when we had this salt on, I think Greg did it for like four hours, and it is delicious, right? Super, super awesome. Okay. Just elevates It really flavor. does. It really does. All right, so now to add a little bit of heat to this soup. Okay. Because it's cold outside. It's getting cooler. Shoot you. We're going to take a jalapeno. We're going to rough chop it. Well, two jalapenos. And, Jody, I'm going to leave the seeds and uh, veins in it just to, you know, to keep all those people who are afraid of hotness away. Afraid of your hotness. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, though, put in the comment section, I would love to know what soups you've already started to make. Mm. You know, I know some of you guys have out there started making soups. Put it in the comment section. I'd love to know. Jody, you got a question? Yeah, could you put the Matador pan in the RT uh, B380 bullseye jar? You know, you, you know we can. That is totally a f uh, proper way to do it. I actually, when I make uh, beef stroganoff, that's how I like to do it. I put the pan straight into the bullseye, and it does great. It does great. All right, these vegetables are just sauteing beautifully. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add some ginger paste and some garlic paste. Ooh. Yeah. Now you can find this at your local grocery store. It's gonna be in the vegetable section. Okay. And uh, it's a really handy tool to have because when you're using paste like this, you get all of the flavor, but you don't get any of the chunks, which I really, really appreciate. And then uh, it also kind of speeds up the whole process, too. It does. You don't have to take a couple of minutes to do that yourself, right? That's right. Here. That's right. So we're just going to toss, make sure all the vegetables are tossed really good in here. You know what would be really good in here, Jody? I should have brought some of our okra from the garden. Ooh. That would have been really good in here, too. All right. Now, now with that salt, uh, sorry, Chef John, but with that salt, can you use it immediately, or do you have to, like, let it rest like cheese? You could use it immediately if you like, but the longer you let it rest, the more that smoke is going to really uh, settle in, and you're going to get that flavor. All right, now let's talk about this chicken, okay? So this is some smoked chicken. Chef Greg had two whole chickens. Uh, it was, all I did was take the skin off, season them really well, and then put them on the RT700 at low. It's 200 degrees, let them smoke for about four hours. Now, the chicken's not completely all the way cooked, but it's totally fine because we're going to throw it in and turn it into the soup. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's go ahead and dump this in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at all that smoky, delicious goodness right there. Man, I wish you guys could catch some of the smells coming off of this Smash matador that right shit now. Guys. Right? John, we got a lot of folks in the house right now watching. Really? Thank you guys for tuning in. We're having a great time here at the Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech out here on the Rec Tech deck. Just doing it up, living our best life. Seasons are changing. I'm trying to break it down to y'all, show y'all how to do some delicious smoked chicken and vegetable soup today we got That's a couple of uh, soup favorites out there texas chili Ooh, i love Taco the chili soup yes potato That's, soup mm, now you're talking potato soup i love potato soup when you garnish it with the cheese and the bacon Ooh, oh man sweet that so potato good. soup sweet potato that's a soup. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna do that on a show. Sweet potato soup. I love sweet potatoes. All right. Shoot, I'm gonna go ahead and season this with that Colton's freaking Greek, often imitated, never duplicated. And guys, if you're looking for any of our spices or sauces or rubs, definitely go check it out at Rectech.com. Head on over there. You can order them straight off the website, straight to your house. 
This matador is make a quick work of this chicken mm, gumbo. and veggies. Ooh, gumbo. I did gumbo uh, last year. I'm 100% sure that'll be another one that I do this year, too. Shoot so yeah, good. All right. So now that we have everything starting to break down really nice, okay. what we're going to do is we're going to take our tomato product. All right. And I'm going to just scoop about t two cups, let's say. Yep. But guys, if you want this recipe or any of the other recipes you see us do on any of our live shows, all you got to do is go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break, and you will get all these recipes emailed to you one every day. A new one every day, right, Jody? Right, right. We'll shove that into your inbox, guys. That's right. Um, what about smoked ham and bean soup? Ooh, yes, yeah, smoked ham and bean. Some lentil soup with ham. Harvest I'm a huge chili. Fan. Ooh, that's Harvest good, too. chili with butternut squash. Ooh, yes. What do you guys know about 15 bean soup? Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's another fan favorite southern right southern. there. Ooh, Maryland crab soup. Ooh, yes. All right. So at this point, I'm going to take our white wine. Shout out. Shout out. And we're just going to go ahead and put a little white wine in here, about a half a cup. Oh. Right? Oh. Mm-hmm. That's now, what I take uh, every time I go sipping is about a half a cup. Is that what you take? <laughs> now we're going to let see how it's starting to come to a little bit of simmer. Ooh. We want all the alcohol to boil out of this, right? So you want to see that boil. It's going to okay. let you know that the alcohol is going to evaporate because we want the wine flavor with none of the alcohol taste. That's what we're trying to go for. Okay. So we're just going to let this simmer for a minute. But it is looking delicious. Absolutely. Now, Jody. What yes, are John. some of your favorite soups? Like, what are you looking forward to making now well, that the weather's starting to break a little bit? Yeah, you know me, man. I like them thick. So, yeah, you uh, do. that chili, uh, Brunswick stew, Ooh, Brunswick she crab stew. soup. Oh, yes, um, Lord. Wedding soup. Yeah. Um, gosh, there's one more. I can't think of it right now. But that taco soup, man. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Now, do you make all the soups yourself, Jody? Shoot no. Shoot no, he shoot says. No, shoot, man, no. shoot no. But this year shoot I may no. be trying. Uh, with, with what you're doing here, it, it, you may, you're making it look easy, so I think I might be able to knock it out of the park you this year. You will be able to. You are the barbecue dad. Of course you'll be able to. All right. Now, as that alcohol starts to evaporate, what I'm going to want to do is Ooh. I'm going to take our lemon. You guys see it simmering there. And we're just going to squeeze some lemon juice in here. Now, you're some like acidity? Chef John. Yeah, for a little bit of acidity, and it's going to brighten this whole soup up. Crab bisque. Ooh, I love crab bisque. Ooh, Lord. All right, and that was one lemon. Perfect. Now, this is smelling wonderful, guys. Now, those tools that you're working with there, Chef John, do those come standard, standard. with the Matador? Standard. Let's talk about the things that come standard with this awesome Matador RTG 450. Standard. Shoot you. Goulash. Sorry. Tools. Standard on the tools. Standard windscreen. Standard on the lid, which I don't have because I'm making soup. Jody, show them that lid real quick. Standard on the lid. Standard 22-inch stainless steel pot. Standard dual burners. Like, standard adjustable legs. Come on, guys. Do I need to say anything more? Two-year warranty. Ooh, How Lord. much is it, Jody? That thing is $2.99. Two it's absolutely free right to your home. That's what I'm talking about. Don't wait, guys. Make this the next accessory to the grill you already have. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. White chicken chili, yes. Ooh, white chicken chili. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now comes our noodles. So we're just going to dump our noodles. Now, guys, you could use whatever noodles you want, right? I just had uh, macaroni in there, so that's what we're going to use. Now, it's, uh, it doesn't have the crazy BTUs like a fish fryer no. uh, or like a uh, deep fryer does. Right. Um, but you can you could still, you know, boil some liquid in there. You could still fry some yeah, stuff. Yeah, I fry, fried chicken in here the other day, and it came out beautiful. Okay, now, now that we have our noodles in here. Now, beautiful those color. pasta noodles were cooked about 70% of the way there. They still had a little bit of bite to them because I want them to absorb the liquid Ooh. as it starts to cook down, okay? Okay. So now it's time to add our liquid. Now, you could add whatever liquid you want. At this point, you could add water. You could add beef stock, pork stock, chicken stock, fish stock, vegetable stock, whatever you would like. We're going to use chicken stock, just keep it with that whole chicken theme. So we're going to go ahead and pour this in. Man, so you're putting about a gallon's worth of liquid About in there? a gallon's. We have people to feed, though. Absolutely. You know? 
And again, we, you know, uh, it's not a deep fryer. It's not a fish fryer. About a gallon's worth of liquid, yeah. you know, is what you want to kind of stick with. And you can see how that is perfect, right? That is what you're looking for right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Chef so John, how does your fantasy football team do this week? Jody, to tell you the truth, I still got, on one of my teams, I've still got uh, one person to play. And the okay. other team, I won. So I'm doing okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's a win, win, win for me. Okay. For this. okay. You know what I'm saying? What about you? Well, I think I lost every game this week. Did you lose every game? Yep. I'm in four leagues, and I think I lost all four games this week, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> you know, you can't win them all. You cannot win them all. You can't win them all. It, it'd be call it winning instead of playing. <laughs> and uh, but uh, I got a couple people playing tonight. Unless there, unless a miracle happens, and my kicker gets me fifty. Ooh. Uh, or I got a I got a defensive player that can get me sixty. <laughs> it's not looking good for old Jody over here. Oh, my, that's that's not good, barbecue dad. That is not good. But I believe you're gonna make a comeback. Never count you out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple splashes of that smoked salt in here. Jody, will you hand me that lid one more time, buddy? I'll shoot you. Thank you so much. And I'm just really going to let this come up to temperature. Now, remember, as soon as this comes to a simmer, sure. as soon as this comes to a simmer, we will go ahead and it's ready to go because the chicken really just needed to come to another, like, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, and it was going to be perfect. I just wanted it to stay nice and juicy. What kind of tomatoes did you use, John? San Marzano canned tomatoes. Okay. You can find them at your local grocery store. Uh, I think I got ours at Publix, so shout out to Publix. Love you guys. They're so helpful and friendly over there. Uh, Publix on Washington Road, so thank you guys so much. But, yeah, they're right in the canned tomato section, and they're the best canned tomatoes that you can get. So if you're ever going to use them, Go ahead and do it. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's 420. It's time for that Dirty Girl 420 moment. Yeah. Brought to you by Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. Guys, if you have not gone and checked out Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers or DGMixers.com, I don't know what you're waiting on. Check I don't know how many times I have to say it. Please go and do it. They are wonderful people. Make a fine, fine product. Go check them out. All right. Old-fashioned vegetable beef soup Ooh, would be good. I love that in a mug. Beef soup in a mug is just all. Hey, if you're just now joining us, put your favorite soup in the comment section Do down it. below. Do it. It's time for that dirty girl moment, though. So what I'm doing for y'all today, because it's fall, we're doing hashtag drink, drink a fall. Oh, That's right. It's a so long <laughs> drink of summer. <laughs> I know. You should be excited. All right. So this is what we're going to need. I've got my copper mug, right? Because you got to have a mug made of copper you for got, the fall months. You it keeps do. keeps it cold. It, that's right. Keeps it, it cold while keeping it warm. That's right. So you want to fill your copper mug all the way to the top with ice. Now, this is important. And you want to do this before you start your drink because you want your mug to get nice and cold. Mm, I All love right. my mug being cold. Now, we're going to go ahead and use some of Second City Distillery Salted Caramel Whiskey. Guys, if you haven't gone to Second City Distillery and checked out their website, Man, please go caramel. do that. And if you go to their Instagram page in their bio, they have a link, carolinacityshipping.com. You can go check it out. You can get this delicious product shipped straight to your house. And guess what? What? If you use the code CHEFJOHN10, you oh get 10% off that order. Is that order. even illegal? That's what I'm talking about. It's legal, baby. It's legal. Can't stop, won't stop. Guys, definitely go check it out. Crazy. CarolinaCityShipping.com. All right. So we're going to take that salted caramel whiskey. We're going to do one ounce. Vegetable oh, beef. Almost potato messed soup, up. Potato soup. We're going to go ahead and put that in our shaker. Shake, shake, shake. One ounce. Shake, shake, shake. Delicious. Shake your now we're going to use ball. some of that awesome murder, murder creek. Ooh. Yeah, that scary pecan. Name mm -hmm. for fall. Murder mm -hmm. creek, that pecan moonshine. So what we're going to go ahead and put an ounce of that in our shaker. Pecan. There you go. Delicious. Now. We're going to put a little bit of apple juice. Mm. Now, I prefer apple cider, but this is what we had, so I'm going to make do with what we had. Oh. So we're going to go with an ounce. Look at John. Mm -hmm. Adapting. Adapting. We're going to go with an ounce of apple juice. Delicious. John, right? you pronounced caramel wrong. Car caramel. Caramel. Oh. Caramel. And pecan, too. Pecan. And last but not Here least, we're going to be using that up. Dirty Girl Margarita Mix delicious delicious stuff you could ask for it wherever you find your cocktail mixers now mm. 
And if you can't, just tell them that you guys want it. This stuff is awesome. No high fructose corn syrup. Vegan, no vegetarian HCFs. friendly. You know what I'm talking about? HFCFs. They make a delicious, delicious product. And it's not just good for margaritas. So we're going to put an ounce. Mm. Good old ounce. Yeah, one ounce, baby. And then we're going to fill it up with ice. Okay. Right? Because we want this to come out nice and cold, Jody. Okay. All right. Now into our shaker it goes. My favorite part. Yeah. It reminds me of the Bar Rescue. Shout out to you, John Taft. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pour into our ice cold brass mug. Mm. Right? Look how delicious that looks. Delish. And you know, oh, Chef John, though, you didn't make enough. Look, you didn't fill your cup up. No. Last but not least, we're going to throw a little bit of ginger beer right on the top. Jody, don't make that face. Hashtag drink a fall, baby. Hashtag ginger beer. Right here. So what we have here is a salted apple mule. Hey, cheers to you guys. Salted apple mule. Mm -hmm. Hashtag drink a fall. Ooh, yeah, that's Man, delicious. Guys, you need to wrap your lips around this thing mm -hmm. because it is that good. Hashtag drink a fall, man. Mm -hmm. mm. Big old set of apples in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like apples in their mouth in fall? Oh, Caramel gosh. apples at that. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, go check them out, dgmixers.com. Mm. They have an awesome, awesome website, and they bring you content all over the place, Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok. Check them out. They're wonderful. All right, Jerry, let's go and check on the soup. Okay, okay. Let me see. What does it look like? Ooh, we got Get a simmer. There, shirt. We got a simmer. We got okay. a simmer. That's what we're looking David for. David wants that to get in his mouth. Yes, David. That's what I'm talking about. I want it to get in all y'all's mouths. Man, this soup looks mm. delicious. Tell the truth, shame the devil, Jody. How good does this look? Oh, it looks amazing. Beautiful Tell them color. about the smell, I Jody. Can smell it from here. That's what I'm talking about. I think I'm most excited. Okay. About a big old bowl full of this in my mouth. Well, I'm about to make you a bowl full, my friend. Mm. I'm about to make you a bowl full. All right, but I'm gonna let this simmer for a minute. Let's do a giveaway, Jody. Oh. Let's announce some winners. What do you want to do? You want to do that? Are they ready for some winners? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. So, last week we were out. We were beyond last week. Y'all remember? We went out to Clark's Hill Lake. Uh, shout out to Sherp's family and his parents for having us out there. Thank you guys so much. Beautiful property right there on the water, Jody. You missed out, my friend. I did. Man, we were ripping lips after the show, too, I don't buddy. That for ripping a lips, bro. We were second. ripping them, Jody. I don't believe, I don't believe that. <laughs> but <clears throat> we did a giveaway last week. All you guys had to do uh, was, I think all they had to do was hashtag in or share in a, uh, uh, share last week's video, and you had a chance to enter to win okay. an exclusive Rectech Icer cup. Your it was choice that easy? of size and color. That easy, Jody. Wow. And. An exclusive Backyard and Beyond t-shirt. Only The only place you get them is right here at Rectech. We don't sell them. The only way you could get them is to win them. All right. So we have two winners. And okay. I thank everybody who played. Thank you, guys. But there could only be two winners. All right. Okay. First winner is All right. Kevin Fuller. Ooh, Congratulations, Kevin. 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 Thank you so Kevin. much. Kevin. Kevin, all you're going to need to do is hit us up on our DM us on our Facebook page, and we will get that right out to you. All right, our Thank next you. winner, Jim Cox. Congratulations, Jim. Oh, Jim oh, Cox. That's right, buddy. My you man. are a winner. Both y'all are winners Jim of Cox an exclusive, exclusive Rectech Icer Tumbler, your choice of size and color, and an exclusive Backyard and Beyond t-shirt. Thank you guys so much. You know, I Jim really could, could have his last name put on that, you know, just Cox, right Cox. on the top of that thing. Yeah, he may be the guy who owns the cable company. You never know. You never know. He could be a fan. He Congrats. could be a fan. Jim and Kevin. All right, so Jordan's out today, so I want to make sh I want to make yeah! sure I want to make sure that I read his soup facts because he went, he dug really hard and deep to bring us these facts. Yep. Soup dates back to uh, the early 2000 BC. Uh, oh. Animal <laughs> animal hides okay. were used primarily as uh, pottery for the soup dishes. That's where they. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Okay. That's a totally true. Uh, okay. The first American cookbook in, 19, in 1742 uh, features several soup recipes. Okay. Uh, commercially, soup was sold, uh, and it really gained popularity in about the 19th century. Oh. Right? So soup is just fun for the whole family. You know, <laughs> I love it. 
I can't get enough. Is that of what it. all that's of that means? That's what all that means, okay. Jody. That's okay. what all of that means. Guys, Perfect. also, I want to remind y'all, tomorrow we are coming to you live, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Okay. Live. We're coming to them live at 12 o'clock on Rec Tech Grills, or Rec Tech's Facebook page. We'll be okay. doing lunch break. Uh, Jody, are you going to be doing that show? I think it's me. Okay. Do you know what you're going to be doing? I do. You do? You I want, do. You're going to tease them a little bit? I am. Okay. So stay tuned. That's right, guys. Tune in tomorrow. Facebook, uh, Rectex Facebook page, 12 o'clock, lunch break. I'll give them a hint, though. It's a go-to for me. Okay. Anytime my wife is out of town. Ooh, I know what it is. Anytime uh, my wife no, is out of town, this is, is what I make for myself, my sons. Mm, yeah, just to keep it real. Any guests coming to the house, mm -hmm. you know, I just keep it. I just keep it on the stove. You know why? It stays in a crock pot. Yeah. Not a crock pot, a, a Dutch oven. Yeah. And it stays warm all day. Because you're the fat uh, boy from Harlem. This is what you eat. I already know what it is. So definitely, definitely tune in tomorrow at 12 o'clock for that. Then Wednesday at 5 o'clock we have After Hours. That's me, Chef Greg, and Jody. That's when we start to close down the building. We've tossed a couple back. It is a great time. That's going to be on Rec Tech's Facebook page. Yeah. Hey, man. I just want to point out something really cool that that touched our my soul. Talk to me. this in the comment section. Sean Woods just said that he wouldn't be getting near as much out of his grill as he does if it weren't not for these shows. Oh, thank you, Sean. We really appreciate that. That was awesome. That was awesome. That makes it all worth it. It really does it make really it all does. worth it, guys. Thank you guys so much. Hey. Help us out by smashing that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. It's the, really the only way our bosses know we're doing a good That's job. That's how we get is. paid. That's right. As they look at all those shares, they're like, guys, y'all killed it. So help us help y'all keep bringing y'all awesome content by smashing that share button. That's right. All right. So Wednesday, isn't that what we have? Ask us anything. What time does that kick off, Jody? 3 o'clock. tomorrow. That's right. Ask us anything, I That's think, right. tomorrow. Yep. 3 o'clock? Ah, between 3 and 4, I do believe. Three I don't think there's four. a hard time for it. Okay. For, on and Instagram? Then, that's right. And on Thursday, uh, we Thursday's a huge day for us. We go live on YouTube for lunch break. Shoot I you. think Chef Greg's going to be kicking that off. Then at 4 o'clock, we have Ask Us. I know, we have uh, Product, Product Spotlight. Spotlight. Product Spotlight with Jody. The and most really viewed a, show. It really is. It's a chance <laughs> for y'all to like... You know, the questions y'all have asked us for us to dive deeper in those uh, products that y'all want to see behind the scenes about. The show that we spend the least amount of time on. That y'all love the most. The least amount of research. That's right. The least amount of work, and they love it the most. They, they, all love, they love it. And then, me. 11 o'clock on Insta, Rec Tech's Instagram page. You know what time it is. It's late night munchies with your boy. And then we're coming right back at you Friday, 12 o'clock with Fun Day Friday. We're spinning that wheel of Rec Tech. Gosh, we're right. also going to be doing announcing some giveaways. So you definitely want to tune into that. All right, let's go back to the soup because I'm about 95% sure it's ready. I'm going to get Sherp in the shot. Sherp's right there, everybody. Ooh, look at this Matador do work. Get on in there, Sherp. Get on in there, Sherp. Look at it do wow. work. It's brought this thing up to a roaring boil. Okay. This is perfect. So those worried about, you know, the, the, the matador getting up to the, the high temps. That's right. In order to cook, um, you don't have to worry about that. No, you don't. And you guys saw it. it. We went from no boil at all, put the lid on, and by the time we made a drink, it came back to it, it was rolling. Now, John, that just to specify, that liquid was not cold. Was not cold. You was know, not it, cold liquid. It was. It, was uh, it had been out here for a second, second okay. so it had been room temperature. All right. Now this is the most important part when you're making soup, right? You got to taste your soup because you don't know how it's seasoned. <laughs> John. So we're gonna taste this it. This man is about to put boiling, roaring boiling water in his mouth. Oh man, I knocked this one out of the park, guys. Jesus All right. crackers. That is delicious. Y'all yes. send some money. Chef John needs a new tongue. <laughs> we need a GoFundMe for the inside of Chef John's mouth. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and make a bowl for Jody. It's a little bowl right here for my buddy. Jody, come on over here and get you some of this All delicious right. soup. Let me grab one more bowl right over here. Man, I'm, I just can't wait to burn my lips. It's not going to be that hot. Well, Jordan would, would never do this. Jordan would never do this. Oh, wait, is it on Sherpa or is it on me? I'll come back over here. and Jordan would never. Charlie, we grab me a spoon, please? Jordan would never. We can share this spoon. Can we share no, this spoon? No. Okay. <laughs> Jordan would never do this. He doesn't eat vegetables. He doesn't eat anything besides chicken wings and chicken fingers. Yeah, chicken nuggets. And beer burgers. And beer burgers, yes. Yeah. Those are his thing, Maybe for sure. Maybe that's why he might not be feeling good. Maybe not. 
because the way the, what he intakes in and trying to get it out mm -hmm. yeah I, I have to agree i probably have to agree mm -hmm. all right so guys recap real quick this yeah, was really so recap. so easy what we did was we started with the matador so the awesome. rtg 450 uh, we put our vegetables in there sauteed them down a little bit of butter and olive oil uh, once we got those cooked, we went ahead and added our garlic paste, our ginger paste. We added our tomato. We were using the Colton's freaking Greek. Had some smoked salt, smoked chicken. Son. Man. You put some. You chicken stock. Taste seasoned to me, baby. Right? Perfect, right? Mm -hmm. We did it up. It's not over the top. Nice and salty, savory. Cheers, Cheers to you, to my you. friend. Mmm. Mmm. And that corn, I love mm. corn and everything. Yes, it's got that smokiness to a little bit of heat from that jalapeno. The saltiness from uh, the noodles from earlier. Oh too. yes, mm. man, this is a home run. The acidity from the lemon. I'm telling you right now. Mm. I'm gonna go enjoy this. Cheers to you guys, guys. Oh, gosh, this was so easy to make. 30 minutes, we had it rolling, and I made enough for an army. Mm. So, uh, good question here, John. Yeah. What, uh, about how many would this serve? Oh man, this would probably serve about 15 people easy easy 15 people and you still probably have enough to bring some to l work tomorrow as your lunch meal what would be your go-to bread to serve with this Ooh, i would go with something really crusty uh a hard crusty outside and a nice soft inside like a nice french bread would be awesome for this right, really jalapeno really good. cornbread jalapeno cornbread would be totally acceptable mm. i'd also be totally acceptable to finish this with a little parmesan cheese right over the top mm. that would make this dish really Really Can you add sing. seafood? Oh, yeah, that'd Would be that totally soup? proper. Throw some shrimps in there. Scallops, if you'd like. Now, when you're cooking seafood, you're always going to need to remember to add. That's going to add that last because it's going to cook so fast, right? <laughs> seafood takes, especially in liquid, under a few minutes to totally cook. You but Jeff Gately that. saying that that's more than a gallon. So, Jeff, in that pan, the actually the first line. That's right. Um, where the wall starts that's is right. actually an indication of a gallon. So, yeah, that is just over, over a gallon. That's right. Uh, but it's closer to a gallon uh, than it than it is two gallons. So. And it was a gallon, pretty much a gallon of liquid. It looks like there's more because we added a gallon of liquid to the vegetable, so it actually raised it up Shoot a little here. bit. Yeah. But this was a home run, guys. Man, I have such a good time hanging out with oh, you Ritz guys. Oh, Ritz crackers. Ritz oh, crackers, Ritz baby. Ritz crackers, Woo! yeah. Ritz crackers, my bad. Ritz Son. crackers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, what about some uh, oyster crackers? Yeah. People don't love oyster don't crackers. Don't sleep on the oyster crackers Saltines. either. Don't do it at all. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this backyard beyond. I'm Chef John. Make sure you're following Rec Tech, following me on all social media. I'm Chef John Pinnell on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Just go out there. You see this beautiful face? Just hit that follow and subscribe button. That's what I'm talking about. But, Jody, do you have anything? Uh, just thank you guys so much for tuning in. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Follow us on all social media, set your notifications, and sign up for the newsletter at That's right. That's right. And don't forget, this Friday, we will be show. We will be having movie night here at Rec Tech. Uh, gates open at 6.30, I think. Uh, movie starts at 7.30. We'll have food trucks out here. Uh, $10 a car. Definitely, definitely bring the family out. We're going to be playing, getting ready for Halloween. So we got all kind of spooky movies we're going to be playing. But, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember... Take time to listen to one another, you know? No giveaway? Oh, Jody, that's what I'm talking about. Well, do they, want us, away? do they want us to do a giveaway, Jody? There's already like four or five people that said, John, you forgot the giveaway. Okay, all right, this is what we're going to do. Oh. We're going to give away. I, what do you want? I mean, I got that, I got that Shiner stuff. Ooh. I got like old logo stuff to my office. Okay, so we're giving away something from Jody's office, all right? It's going to be something awesome from his office, and we're going to give away some Shiner product as well. Okay, so all you got to do to enter this is go in the comment section and hashtag, uh, what do we hashtag? Shiner is the greatest. Hashtag Shiner is the greatest, okay? Shiner is the greatest enters you to win something exclusive from Jody's office. And I promise you, it's not going to be, we're not sending you paper clips. It's going to no, be something that you can't get. Something with the old logo on it. The old logo on it. Something new. That's right. Something new and something from Shiner, guys. So you definitely. Hat and shirt. Hat, hat and shirt from for Shiner. Sure, there you go. Sure. Hat and shirt from Shiner. So you definitely, definitely, definitely go in the comment section. Hashtag Shiner is the, be is the greatest.
And, uh, and Jordan, Jordan, Jordan Johnson was giving away something on Twitter, too. Oh, that's right, guys. So go ahead and check out RecTech's Twitter page because that's right. You have a chance to win, too. He's doing a giveaway over there. Mm -hmm. Definitely after this, go check that out. But, man. We're just giving away the farm, Jody. The soup is good, man. Thank for you sure. so much. Guys, thank you so much for keeping up with us, hanging out with me today for Backyard and Beyond. Smash that share button, guys. You know I love y'all. Each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much. Remember, love one another, listen to one another, and never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do. do, do.